working fans podcast. Cool. Yep. All right, here we go. Coming down three, two. Welcome back for another week of the Working Fans Podcast. This is AJ. I'm the former wrestler. We've got Dave, the ultimate fan, here with us. As we do every week, our producer, Joe, may likes to make us sound good and makes us look way more professional than we actually are. As always, you can find us on Twitter. That's at Fans Working. Facebook, Working Fans Pod. We've got email where you can reach out to us and please contact us to let us know what you think of the podcast and for any ideas that you might have that's working fans wrestling pod at gmail.com we're on instagram where you can keep up with us at working fans wrestling underscore pod and then you can now listen to us on all major platforms including anchor.fm we're on google podcasts spotify breaker overcast Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Apple Podcasts, and you can actually check us out on YouTube. Now, it's important when you go onto the Apple Podcasts and YouTube, hit that subscribe button, give us a rating, let us know what you think so you can help us out and we can continue to do what we love and bring you guys in as fans. Big ass tits! <laughs> Welcome to the 531 where we take our top five list on a particular subject, narrow it down to a top three list. And then further narrow it down to a top one list. <laughs> this week, we got top announcers. Mm. Jesse from New Hampshire brought us <laughs> Jim. <laughs> you can be all right, Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to be an outtake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like in the middle of a laugh cough. There we go. Very, very peculiar for me. Never had that feeling. Mm. All right, Jesse from New Hampshire. <laughs> All right, Jesse from New. Je- <laughs> we gotta pull ourselves together. Too much fucking funning around. Oh yeah, fun. All right, Jesse from New. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. Never gonna get it. This is like those uh, outtakes in movie real. Yeah, except we're keeping this in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, we'll, we might edit out cops. So whatever, folks. I didn't even realize <laughs> like, Dave could die from the corona. Yeah, dude. We're, we're, we're risking. Our, I'm, I'm risking his life mm. to make art for you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I put it all on the line. No worries. Love you guys. <laughs> all right, Jesse. Go ahead. You got this, baby. All day long. Favorite. God damn. It's like Austin <laughs> Theory. All day long, baby. All day long. <laughs> All right, loyal listener. <laughs> there you go. Uh, loyal listener to the show, Jesse from New Hampshire, had Jim Ross, Joey Styles, Jerry Lawler, mm. JBL, mm. and Dusty Rhodes. Dusty! I like that. I like the Dusty made the list. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't make my list for as many times as I've watched old uh, WCW. You know, I, I like Dusty. He wouldn't make mine as top announcers. I mean, he's entertaining. He was my favorite promo of all time. I think we did a 5-3-1 where we almost booted him out, and I fought for him to stay on in one damn thing. But as far as announcers go, entertaining, but wouldn't be like in my top five or anything. But I, I do, he did have his roadisms, as he would call it, where, you know, they clubbering, baby, they clubbering in the corner, baby. <laughs> hey, Wendell. I love that. All right, anyway. Now, Zach had Bobby Heenan, mm-hmm. Vince McMahon, yeah. Gordon Soley, mm. Jesse Ventura, and Jim Ross. Sure, that's a good list. You know, I don't know so far, I mean, uh, he's, they're not on my list, too. I, I almost put Gorilla Monsoon. I haven't heard his name yet. I wonder if he'll make a list. Uh, Gorilla is influential in my day. I'm sure he'll pop up. This is where the lists take a bit of a turn, because Will Tricity from the Rock and Randy's Rock and Wrestling Ooh. Group had Joe McHugh, huh. Tony Chimmel. Okay. Gary Michael Campetta. Oh, you want the announcers. Huh. Howard Finkel. Mm-hmm. And Dave Penzer slash Justin Roberts. Uh, oh, okay. Fifth. Well, I mean, I told people announcers slash commentators. Okay, I put it down as announcers. Okay. I mean, 
As in, I mean, it, it's open to interpretation because announcers really are like Michael Buffer style. So yeah, we we might almost do like a side list just for the announcers. Sure, you know what? That's that's fair. There's almost like a I'll, fifty-fifty split. I, I because want, yeah, I want people's stuff to be heard. So let's do this. Because okay. Benji Fido, Benji Fido, F I D O. Oh yeah, yeah, Benji. What's up, my man? <laughs> From Rock and Randy's Rock and Wrestling Group had Howard Finkel. Yep. Tom Miller. Mm. Gary Michael Capetta. Dave Penzer and Boyd Pierce. Okay, okay. Uh, Boyd would almost make my list because I've been listening to so much of the Mid South review that Mike Mills and Brian Last do, and they're always talking about Boyd Pierce. Yeah, Gary Capetta is a good one too. He made a couple lists there. I like that. Now Nolan, you heard him cut a promo last week about mm-hmm. people chicken. on the meat case. Yeah, yeah drinking yeah. his dick while waiting. Mm-hmm. He has Vince McMahon on his list. Yep. Bobby Heenan. He said Attitude Era Lawler. So I'm assuming that's the Lawler that called Goldust a fag? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. And, um, I mean, I think more about screaming about puppies, <clears throat> stuff like that. That was Attitude Lawler cutting a promo. We didn't oh, always yeah. get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that would have gone over week to week. JR tells a story about that. That was King kind of going to business for himself. Trying to get some heat and be entertaining. I can't imagine he was sitting next to Vince there. <laughs> Even in that era. I think Vince would be like, God damn it, Jerry. Yeah. I agree with you, but shut up. <laughs> yeah, like it's an old territory way to get heat. And it's not necessarily something you want to get on TV. Mm. Now, Nolan finishes off his list with Gorilla Monsoon. Yeah. And there you Jim go. Ross. There you go. You know, Jim Ross says a lot of nice things about Garo Monsoon on his podcast. He's talked about, like, when he first got over to WWF at the time, that people didn't like him just because he came from WCW. And Gorilla, like, you know, spoke up for him. And there's even a story where Alfred Hayes wasn't very kind to Jim at one point. And Gorilla talked to uh, Alfred and said, Alfred, you know, he's trying to work in our business just like you are. He's trying to make a living. You should be ashamed of yourself, Alfred. And Alfred, I was like, I guess Alfred shut the fuck up. Because when Gorilla, yeah, when Gorilla tell you something, <laughs> Alfred said, you know what, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Because that's how his little British ass sounded. Anyway. But anyway. Brian Damon had, he's also from Rock and Randy's Rock and Wrestling Group. Mm. He had Howard Finkel. Yep. Tony Chimmel. Mm. Bob Artez. Gary Michael Capetta and Joe McHugh. Hmm. Randy Osga. Yeah. Had Jim Ross, mm. Gordon Soley, Bobby Heenan, Lance Russell, and Tony Schiavone. Oh, come on, Lawler. <laughs> That's what I think of every time I hear Lance Russell. <laughs> Chris Zauha, always going to be Zouch to me from Zouch Rock and him. Randy's Rock and Wrestling mm-hmm. Group. Had Lance Russell. Yes. Bob Caudill. Mm. Jesse Ventura. Jim Ross. And Gordon Soley. Glad to see Bob Cottle make the list. Great, great a commentator. And he's another one that gets talked about really well. Jim Ross talks about him. And also Tony Schiavone has mentioned in the past that if Bob Cottle's not in the WWE Hall of Fame, he doesn't want to be in the Hall of Fame. Wow. Yeah. Conrad said they're going to butt duck his ass anyway. But he <laughs> likes their not when he's dead. But yeah. <laughs> Now Jake had Gordon Soley, mm-hmm. Jim Ross, yeah. Bobby Heenan, Lance Russell, Joey Styles. And Don Callis. Oh, come on, Jake. We <laughs> see you. Brian Huff from Rock and Randy's Rock and Wrestling Group mm. had Marty O'Neill, mm. Gary Michael Capetta, mm. Joe McHugh, Boyd Pierce, yes. and Howard Finkel. We definitely have two separate lists going on. The Rock and Wrestling Crew was under a different impression. Yeah, yeah. I, I should, probably should have put slash commentators, but. Yeah, that's all right. That's what happens when you get working fans. We're cramming stuff in here mm-hmm. because I didn't realize I was putting Dave's life at risk. You know what? <laughs> the quote of a very smart man. We're fucked. <laughs> We're fucked, Mr. Hitman. <laughs> We're fucked. We're fucked. Scott had JR, mm. Heenan, Gordon Soley, Lance Russell, and Joey Styles. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to give you my list. I had Howard Finkel, mm-hmm. Gorilla Monsoon, yeah. after a change. I originally had Jim Ross, but yeah. I think about all the old. The classic WWF that I watched and Monsoon's all over it. Mm. Gary Michael Capetta, because I was big on WCW and just that early announcing of Mm. his. Originally, I had Bob Cottle, but I had to take him off and put Gordon Soley. And rounding out my list with Bobby Heenan. Yeah, the brain. Dave, who'd you have on your list? For me, I'm going to go backwards here. I have Tony Schiavone. 
He made my list because uh, he was like one of the first guys that I kind of like really recognized, like in terms of announcers that I liked. You know, like I grew up on Vince McMahon, Jesse Ventura, and Gorilla Monsoon, and the AWA was like the next promotion I found. But they didn't really have any announcers that stuck out. NWA had Tony Schiavone and David Crockett. But uh, I like Tony a little better. So, Mauro Inaro, I put him on there because, quite frankly, I think he's one of the most exciting uh, announcers today. I love his work. And the guy can do it all. Pro wrestling, boxing, MMA, student of the game. Paul Heyman, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best color guys in the business. Great at getting heat. The only guy I think that would be really better would be my next one, Bobby the Brain Heenan, who might be the most talented man in the business. Like, when you think about it, this guy was a great wrestler. This guy was a great manager. This guy was a great color commentator. Can't say enough good things about Bobby. <clears throat> but for me, I think I've told the story before. My number one guy is Mr. Jim Ross. This all goes back from Mid-South Wrestling. I've mentioned this before when I saw Michael Hayes and Ted DiBiase get into a fight at the desk. And Jim Ross called it the goddamnedest fight he'd ever seen. And they're beating the hell out of each other. <laughs> they're broken in half. I remember one time. Never mind. That's another story for another time. But anyway. <laughs> So now, for commentators, obviously JR's made a few lists. Oh, yeah. That's what he damn well should. <laughs> trying to see who else made a few. Heenan. Heenan, yeah. What was AJ's list? Excuse me. Did you um, miss it, AJ? Fuck. Oh, see, we're not done yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I didn't write AJ's down. Oh, uh, shit. We almost lost AJ. I got you, AJ. <laughs> I got you. Guys, now it's very easy to see how Randy's list got left off a month ago. Yeah, all right. So, uh, what is AJ's list? You want me to read it off right now? Yeah, read it off. I fucked up. All right, all right. Hold on a second here. I got you, AJ. I got you, baby. AJ's got Lance Russell. Oh, come on, AJ. (laughs) He's got, oh my God, Joey Styles. Oh, Gordon Soley. That drunk. <laughs> Bobby the Brain Heenan and Jesse Ventura. I don't have a good Jesse impression. But I don't have any good impressions, really, other than Lance. So that's AJ's list. AJ basically told me that um, well, if I include color commentators, that it would be like Paul Heyman, Bobby Heenan, and Jim Cornette. Mm. But he didn't even put Jim Cornette or Paul Heyman anything on his list just now. So I read it kind of fast, but you did. So, man. I gotta be honest. So I, Jr. and Heenan obviously made a bunch of lists. So who, Lin- who do you want in that third spot for well, commentators? Who else makes a lot of lists here? I think Lance Russell. Lance Russell, you want to throw him in that third one? Oh, come on, Joe. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Morrow, but Morrow didn't really make enough people's lists. Yeah. So I can be, uh, you know. All right. So to top back. three lists for commentators: Jr. Heenan, Lance Russell. Sure. Top three lists for announcers, I've got Finkel, Gary Michael, Capetta, Boyd Pierce. Let's start with commentators. Who's the first to go? J.R., Lance Russell, or Bobby Heenan? All right, since Bobby's the greatest color man of all time, entertaining, it depends what you like, right? Do you want these guys to be entertaining or do you want to get it straight? Me, personally, as much as I love the entertainment aspect... I need that serious front man from some time to put over wrestling. I'm going to get Bobby to step down in this one. All right. Wow, Bobby's the first Bobby's one to get go. voted. All right. I mean, he's the best overall, but in this particular list, I'm going to narrow that son of a bitch down to Jim Ross and Lance Russell. All right. How do you do it between Jim Ross and Lance Russell? What I'm going to refer to you because I'm a biased motherfucker, and Jim Ross would get my pick every day. God damn time. All right. I don't care if he says something about some Orientals on the TV. All right. He's got my vote. Oh, come on, Dave. Oh, come on. Because I'm going to pick JR as well. Okay. As much as I like Lance Russell. Yeah. I didn't grow up on him as much. I do enjoy hearing him when I want that old school wrestling yes. feel now. Yes. But JR has been doing it for a long right. time. And we're talking about JR's complete body of work. Yeah, and he's been my favorite in WCW. Right. And I'm going to listen to him tonight, actually, as well. Yeah, you will. Or no, I won't. Well, probably not, because JR is yeah. trying to be safe at his house quarantine. Yep. And Stay safe, Jim. <laughs> yeah, some, of the, some of your co-workers are actually helping you out. Yeah. Oh, come on, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're doing an empty arena podcast, it feels like. And yeah. I'm making Dave work. Yeah. So the top three announcers, we got Howard Finkel, Gary Michael Capetta, Boyd Pierce. I don't know enough about Mr. Pierce. He was on an AEW Dynamite, I yeah. believe. And, uh, was that him, actually? Boyd Pierce? Yeah. Was it... Uh, no. no, it was Brown. Something Brown. Dave Brown? Dave Brown, yeah. Yeah, Lance Russell's partner. Yeah. 
He was excellent. No, Boyd Pierce was ring announcer for Mid Smack. Yes. Mid South always yes. had the flash Houston wrestler jackets. too. Yeah. He did the Houston wrestler too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you put him up against Capetta and Finkel, it's not fair. No, no, I would, I'd bump his ass. Uh, I mean, if we were more Mid South guys, more I, Houston wrestling. I, here's the thing, though, Joe. I grew up on some UWF slash Mid South wrestling. Oh, okay, and so. I, and I, yeah, and I mean, like, no offense to Pierce. He's not a guy that stuck out. Now, granted, as I watched those that, jackets didn't stick out, motherfucker sparkled like a diamond. I mean, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Listen, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he wasn't talented, but I, I think I also turned in a little bit towards the end. Oh. And Bill might have had his son doing. His son would help out with commentary once in a while. Okay. Anyway, he just didn't stick out enough as the other two. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, Gary Capetta and Mike Finkel definitely stick out. Here's the thing: I love me some Gary Michael Capetta. Trying to get that motherfucker on the podcast if he hears this. Love that guy. However, no offense to him. Just He's got to go to Finkel because the end that of the day, iconic voice, right? That guy is who I think of when it comes to pro wrestling announcers. It's Howard Finkel. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard to see him in his current state. Very beat. Like, the last couple times they've showed him not looking well in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. It's hard to see him like that. But what? That's the voice of our childhood pretty Most much. Child. Love that guy. All right, guys, so thank you for once again joining us for the 531, and we'll talk to you again next week. Peace. All right, so that wraps us up for this week. Thank you again for listening to the Working Fans Podcast. So as always, you can find us on Twitter at Fans Working. Our Facebook page is Working Fans Wrestling Pod. We have email where you can reach out to us and let us know what you think also. That's Working Fans Wrestling Pod at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram, Working Fans Wrestling underscore pod. And then as always, please continue to listen to us on Anchor.fm, Google Podcast, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, all your major platforms. If you're following us on Apple Podcasts, which we are also on now, and YouTube, please make sure you subscribe and give us a five-star rating. It helps us bring you these podcasts where we get to talk to you and talk with you every week.